Hi friends, welcome to the next lecture, which is installation and configuration. This is not actual lab video. The actual installation will be covered in the next video. These are the objectives which are going to be discussed in this video. These are the supported platforms to install Couchbase. So make sure you are deploying Couchbase into any one of these supported platforms. This includes Amazon Linux, CentOS, Oracle Linux, Windows Server, Ubuntu. Couchbase clusters on mixed platforms are not supported and nodes in Couchbase cluster should all be running on the same OS. CPU, RAM and storage. These are the minimum specifications and the recommended specifications. You can reduce the CPU and RAM resources below the minimum specifications for development and test purposes. Resources can be as low as 1 GB of free RAM beyond the operating system requirements and a single CPU core. But if you go with below the minimum specifications, your cluster will respond very slow. When you are planning for production clusters, take recommended into consideration. Additional requirements, depending on your local configuration, some components of Couchbase server may have additional system requirements. For example, if you want to use analytic service, it requires Java runtime to be installed. OpenJDK 11 installed by default when you install Couchbase server, so you do not need to install any additional prerequisites. Network and firewall requirements, Couchbase server uses multiple TCP ports to facilitate the communication between server components as well as with Couchbase clients. Some ports used for cluster management are required to be open on every node because they are essential for the communication of cluster nodes internally. So you have to make sure those are open. Other ports are used by individual Couchbase services and are only required to be open on the node where those services are running. If you are using any specific services like eventing, indexer, other services, they might use a few dedicated port numbers. If you are not using them, you no need to open them. Couchbase server component services connect to each port over one or more communication paths. This diagram illustrates Couchbase server communication paths. Communication will happen node to local, node to node, line to node, and the cross data center replication. I mean uh, cluster to cluster, node to local means. Communication happens entirely within the node itself on that particular node. Node to node means if you have four nodes in your cluster, there uh, must be some communication happening among those four nodes. So this is the internal node to node communication. So it connects to the port on the other nodes in the cluster. Client to node communication, a Couchbase client such as an application using the Couchbase SDK connects to the port on the node that it requires to access to. XDCR, which is nothing but cross data center replication, a source node connects to the port on a destination node of another cluster as part of an XDCR. This will be discussed later in detail when configuring XDCR. There are few port numbers that must be opened. Otherwise, when you are configuring XDCR, you will see an error stating that so and so port not open. List of all port numbers grouped by category of communication. Note to local, choose these port numbers. These are the unencrypted port numbers. These are the encrypted port numbers. Depending on the client, depending on the project or severity, few organizations only allow encrypted ports to be open. Only SSL communication should be open. So that time you have to open these ports. Node to node communication, these are the encrypted and unencrypted ports that are used by node to node communication. Similarly, for client to node communication, these are the port numbers. XDCR, these are the unencrypted and encrypted port numbers. Deployment guidelines. Before you install Couchbase server, follow the recommended deployment guidelines for setting up your production environment. Make sure you are sizing the cluster properly to avoid issues in near future. You have to make sure time is same on all the servers. It's recommended to use NTP protocol to avoid any issues pertaining to XDCR when you configure our applications and all. Disable transparent use pages. Set kernel swappiness as per the recommendation. So you have to disable THP as per Couchbase recommendation. This swappiness you can set it as 0 or 1 and the security, physical security, firewall, data in transit, file system level security. Security should be applied in this area. Physical means gatekeeper kind of physical security. Firewall is always block unused ports. So open only those ports that are required and needed. Data in transit, you can enable SSL for the internal communication as well as cross data center replication. THP, Transparent Huge Pages, is a memory management system that is enabled by default in most of the Linux operating systems. THP must be disabled in order for Couchbase server to function correctly on Linux. You can disable it with these commands. Swap space and kernel parameters. The kernel swappiness level indicates how likely the system is to swap pages out of physical memory based on the RAM usage. So swappiness should be set to 1 or 0 on most of the systems to achieve optimal couch based performance. To disable the swappiness, we set it to 0. 
These are the installation steps using yum. Download a small meta package from Couchbase and then install that meta package and install the actual Couchbase server with the yum install command, the latest version. You can also install Couchbase using RPM package as well. Download the appropriate package from the Couchbase. You can install it with RPM hyphen hyphen install command. Verify the installation with this address HTTP colon slash slash server IP address colon 8091 this is non-SSL port and 18091 is SSL port these are the commands for starting and stopping of Couchbase server to start can use system CTL start Couchbase hyphen server to stop system CTL stop Couchbase hyphen server you can also use service Couchbase server start service Couchbase hyphen server stop thanks for watching